Which one is more annoying to siege? Korea might be a bit more annoying. Because they come from the north. Alright, switch culture. Switch culture. Um, tech China, perhaps. Nothing here can use. Dharmic. China might have something more interesting than this. What? Does this still work? As owner's culture. Bangui. Damn. So I have to fucking switch again. Fantastic. Oria. Canada. Sahili Turkish. Do I need Turkish? I don't need Turkish, right? I don't need Turkish. Hungarian. Hindavi. There's nothing here as well. Hindavi. English. Egyptian. English and Egyptians as for their monuments. Uh, we take Donkin. Also need to do this. Shouldn't need to do this, but uh, might as well before I forget. Because at some point these things add up, like trade companies and all that. Okay, it should all be fine though. It should be fine. Later on, I need something that increases the influence as much as I can. Like these things. We will see, actually. We will see what happens with this. We'll do the conquest and the rebel flipping first. Finish all these missions. Then we would try to get this at the end. This should. This is a conquest thing. And then we're done. Yeah, these two are done once we finish the war of Vietnam. This one will do it at the end. And then we should. Uh, um... Yeah, this one should also be fine. It's basically the uh, religious thing now. I have to really pay attention to. And uh, let's make sure they are doing what they're supposed to be doing.
And... I want to step hit myself. Seriously, I want to fucking step hit myself. Yeah, fuck it. Let's let's throw it, fight China first. This is ten percent. Five years. There should be more ways to to do this, right? How do I step hit myself? Is there someone with no friends? Ah. I mean, easiest way to break a truce. Well, this would work. This can work. Pick a general. Pick a general. Then we step hit snobs. It's another beautiful day and another beautiful step hit. <laughs> okay, we don't want this to go too crazy. Zero step should be fine. Wait, where is the capital? No, they're fucking running away. Please don't run away. Force much cost, no power, meaning we can start bombing forts like it is, like no tomorrow. Choose to move his cabin over there. That was weird as fuck. Well, 
but uh, don't matter. Who we'll get there? Excuse me, how the fuck they just run like that? Tributary state of Vietnam. Uh, not anymore. Oh, exhaustion, over extension, demoted culture, non accepted culture, active missionary. This sounds about right. This doesn't really give me anything where I cancel core. I think I need to finish this and start pushing down to Malacca. Move it. Let's get this over with.
get rid of all of these. Level 8 forts. Wouldn't mind if I had forts in a strategic location, but this is just ridiculous. These are not even strategic locations. Convert Iran. Damn, that's expensive. Let's choose break Vietnam to death later. Now let's focus on grabbing these. Grabbing China. Is that a floor? Shit. Bro. Fucking force. That's all the Chinese problem is. We can do this, true spread him again. Or this will take about 200 war score off of him. 948 admin points to core. Just wow. Gotta get ready. This is nutty. This is completely nuts. This is why I rather like blow my points and wasting it than waste my point like getting overflowing, but then then spending it on egg whatever. I'm getting the forts should be good enough. Finally, last 2.5 percent political absolutism. And then later on, I need to get rid of 
divided aristocracy, because this is actually lowering all the influences, which is fucking dumb. Mm. It's like actually counterproductive. Oh yeah, and Bengal has a monument, right? Merchant loyalty equilibrium. That's makes it better. Oh, well, now we're one thirty-five. Maybe we can uh, try to get some influence in. Totally expecting that I'm gonna lose Crown Land. Yeah. To be fair, 40 60 percent is easy to achieve when I get rid of the other thing, right? I get rid of that government reform. Put a few, and then these automatically jump up. Right? That shouldn't be a problem. Maybe something like 22 percent, 22, 10, uh, 25, actually 35. If I get the other reform off as well, it should be doable. should go for this though and make sure the rest of it Parati. I just need this rebel not the other ones Revolution is fully present. Oh yeah, right. Revolution give me regress too. 25. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Oh my god. We gotta make sure they don't scrumble to a revolution, I think. <laughs> this is not good. I don't want to be revolutionary myself as well. I mean, damn, if we put that into some sort of Austrian provinces, sure, but otherwise, that shit needs to fuck, a fuck all the way off from me.
Well, it has happened. The rest of these can go away. One. Let's take Tibet or any forts that might be around. Actually, that sh doesn't seem to be any. Oh, there's one there. Let's take Tibet then. Or actually, fuck it. Wow. 320% overextension. This is how it be was like. And immediately basically used up all the admin I've banked. Wow. Just wow. Well. Get the, uh, Bonus for to recoup some of my points. Riches of Asia. And where is the extra prestige that is getting converted into each type of Warnock points? I didn't get any. This game lied to me again. This game lied to me again. Chat. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This game lied to me yet again. This crap. Ah. <sighs> Why did you form Iran after Persia? No, it's the same thing, actually. It's just, there's a little decision that asks you, like, do you want to call yourself Iran instead of Persia? I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Well, at least, yeah, I, at the time, I didn't think that was a big deal. Trying to get these to spawn over on this side because that could help with that could help converting Anatolia.
Wait, this is not flipping. This is at 50%. This is not flipping. This is at 50. Fuck. It's my flip though. Yeah, this is flipping. This is not flipping. Should have fucking sent it there earlier though. 50%. 50%. Damn, man. How much? Plus 7 unrest. Eh, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Wait, what? But the HRE cannot attack each other. Oh, wait. Uh, this colony won't independence. Okay, no, no, none of my business. They have nukes now. I have rebel nukes. I have rebel landmines. Which one would you like? My rebel landmines would do things just as well. I forgot, I should have given uh, this province back to Portugal. We are about to explode, chat. Our nukes is about to uh, uh, go off in our own silos. That's what this looks like. <laughs> Oof. Yes, the nukes exploded in India because made because the Indians invented nu these nukes. This is what happens when Indians have nukes. <laughs> they blow themselves up. Bloody hell. How much fucking different types of rebels do I even... <laughs> Shit. Well... Let's get this over with. don't cap at 90. It used to be not capped. And then as usual, Paradox decided, Oh, it's too overpowered. You know how it goes. Oh, this is too overpowered. This is too overpowered. Oh, crap. Wait, what? Legitimacy, local tradition, liberation act. Oh my god, we need unrest again? 
Is it that difficult to get a bit more unrest? Portugal's headache now. Bullshit, dude. I wish rebel sentiment would, would happen in Persia. <laughs> Otherwise, the revolution might be able to help. Yeah, it's not spreading here, though. Not yet, anyway. Crap. It's still only two of these, though. It's still only two of these. Come on, spawn the fucking rebels. One, two, three, four, five. Come on. Come on, come on. I'll get rid of that advisor, see if we have more unrest somewhere. These rebels first, especially that one. And then, um. Fight Vietnam again, maybe. Yeah, fighting Vietnam would work again. And then we work on their tributaries. Independence was serious. Dude, why does it cost 180? Does it cost 180? For fuck's sake. Well, we need this to drop back to uh, 30, 20%. Rebels are going to trigger just accept the pop-up enough times. That's true. But on the other hand, I would mean I would be fighting exponentially more rebels elsewhere, right? Which is like not exactly productive either, because I then I'll be too busy like getting swarmed in other places. One way or another. And honestly, even with that rebel sentiment, it's like... Yeah, I mean, it works, it works, you're right, it works. It would work. At least it would be better than waiting, like, like, a lot, like, so many times. Like I've been doing. 70%. Like, the thing is that, uh, right now, even if I get stacks, it's just one stack at a time, which is, like, so too slow. I need more stacks to spawn. Well, at least now, my fastballs are not harassing me, so... That's a bonus. Like, the problem before is that my fastballs from the HRE are literally stopping me from f letting the rebels run around. I mean, remember last time I was doing Frankfurt? 
like with Inti thing. I did the same, right? I just left the, the rebels running around in South America for a while, for like 30 years. Like, given enough time, it's gonna work. It's just like, it's just that my fast was being a prick, not helping. I think I can send guys to Syria again. This should help. At the end of the day, like I said, though, it, the moment we flipped the Zoro off stream, we basically finished all the all the things anyway, like all the missions anyway. But of course, there's another concern is that like HRE and all that other things. Stacks up, get this over with first. Not gonna lie, if I want to do a Zoro Austrian one fave, we would have done it very differently. Probably also wouldn't have waited so long. And, uh, while Rebel Conversion is fun and strong and convenient and all, at the end of the day, it 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 isn't Rebel Conversion that gets you the whole thing, right? Like, for example, with the XRE, you want to use your Fassels, which I'm not doing. This is taking a bit, like I said, Imperialism is actually in fucking crap CV. War score takes up way too slow. Stability, I think. As much as I like rebels, 
I don't want it everywhere. Oh, revolution is in Europe. Fucking me up now. Good. Great. Now I'm uh, now I'm gonna have constant rebels in Europe. Oh, that's just perfect. That is just fucking perfect. I, dude, I really fucking hate playing this game now. Like, who the fuck invented this revolution bullshit? Like, oh yeah, 25 unrest on your province. There's nothing you can do about it. You have to wait 20 or 30 years for it to disappear. And that is assuming that nobody, like, like, for example, Portugal does not become a revolutionary target. If they do, then it's gonna be even longer until you become revolutionary yourself. That's gonna be very fun. Well, now they can run around. If I get any extra new extra unrest, then these things that they occupy will also turn the rebel type into this type, so I can get more stacks, actually. So the next rebellion comes at fucking hell. For two, goodbye. There's nothing we can use here as well, right? Dude, why are these these, these things so rubbish? Why are these things so rubbish? Global monthly devastation. Rubbish. Thirty per cent. Dude, convert these. Just convert those. Let's see. Wow. Dude, why do they... Why is the... Why is the fucking revolutionary center focusing on me? 
What about the other people? <laughs> Why me? Why only me? What? Personal union with Portugal? Oh, that shouldn't be happening. Seriously doubt that would be happening. Or me letting that happen. That's the only one. Oh, this is already popped. Shit. Well, we just have to create some more on our own elsewhere. Like Persia, maybe. Wait, what is the difference between these two? One get unrest, one doesn't get unrest. Non accepted culture. Five, two, six. It's the same, but. Liberation Act, trading in wine, tolerance. A weird. Well, I'm going to get a bit more rest than that can uh, get this over with. Vietnam, Mong Mao. Okay, we will just do that. I think I might just do the mission normally, actually. 
The rebel thing takes too long. And they're just basically aimless. Like, if we can have more rebels to convert me, that is nice or me, but we don't really need that anyway. I mean, I don't need to make my life harder than it is. Muslim Revolt. Okay, we've chosen that. Just don't know what is coming next, personally, but can't be that bad, I suppose. Yeah, they're just like converting randomly, occupying stuff that already converted. That's just not really gonna work. Might as well just get it over with. 